Hey everybody, this is Ripcord here, playing Elden Ring. Um, I've delved a little bit into it, so if you'll notice, I have a lot of weapons and stuff like that. A little bit of armor. I haven't picked up much armor. Um, but overall, <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with this game. I've played all three of the other Dark Souls, um, such as uh, that and Sekiro. So, um... I'm kind of experienced with Dark Souls games, but not too, not too experienced. So, uh, with that being said, let's just get right back into it. All right, that's right. I was in uh, Murkwater Cave. I have to go and get um Murgit's uh shackle so how you do this is this guy right here um he I would imagine is going to spawn So yeah, what you have to do is you have to go and you have to mess this guy up a little bit. And then, um, you're not supposed to kill him. If you kill him, he will not drop Margaret's thing. So I'm trying everything not to kill this guy. Wait, wait, please. I surrender. White flag and all. So yeah, you drop him uh, down at about uh, half health. And then I guess he gives you a... He gives you a stance and then... You just talked to him. That was actually kind of easy. Yeah, you better turn into a freaking vendor. Come at me like that again and I'll kill ya! God, they kept up with the patches thing. He was in like... I guess literally all the other three Dark Souls, and then he freaking is a traitor through all of them. It's kind of messed up. So, from here, what you want to do is you want to leave, probably. I'll head back to the entrance, that way I don't have to worry about going to a different, uh, grace, and then having to come back. Then I will just run all the way through. Take care of these guys. They're really easy. Get a little backstab going on there. Apparently somebody likes mushrooms.
tell me down in the comments, like, do you guys like mushrooms on your pizza? Me, I find the the uh, mushrooms to be a little bit like too chewy and whatnot. Oh no 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 no! It's ah, it's a transporter trap. <laughs> no, where is it gonna well, take me? Well, well. I should have known. I think I just screwed it over getting Margaret Shackles. <laughs> no. I should have went in there and talked to him first. I saw the chest and was like, ooh, loot. Oh gosh. Um, okay, let's take care of this thing first before I do anything. Come on, buddy. Fuck that up. Oh gosh. It's a lot easier kind of fighting these guys on torrent, but um, I prefer to fight them on the ground just because torrent tends to uh, trot off in like weird ways if you're not careful. So I fight the gigantic grizzly bear guys in, um, on foot. It also helps if you know like their attacks and everything. Like when he rears up on his uh, hind legs and he gets ready to do the slam, if you dodge like at a uh, good enough time, you can just completely negate it. I'm actually surprised I didn't get hit there. Oh, I haven't stunned him yet. But yeah, the first time I uh, ended up fighting one of these guys, he popped out of a uh, regular skeletal soldier guy, and it was really creepy because it just instantly popped up and scared me. Alright, so let's go back to the cave. I can't. Oh, that is messed up. You have been trapped. You cannot travel until I rest that one. Okay, so let's go to the nearest one, which is right there there I feel bad my little skeleton guys got demolished let's pick up some earth root 
or Erdleaf. Uh, let's kill this bear. So if you guys notice these little tiny skulls on the ground and everything, if you melee attack it, or just break it open in general, um, it'll pop out golden runes and then those are kind of like the souls of this game. Uh, I am going way off the beaten path. Erdleaf. Um, you need those. Uh, it takes two of them in order to... Um, be able to summon people to your world uh you make um this one right here uh fur calling finger remedy uh you need those in order to call people into your world it's uh kind of helpful and then kind of not they said it made it more accessible for people to join uh without having to do like certain things but in my opinion it just made it worse it's like kind of being embered, but not really. So over here should be, yep, there's the grace. It's like a little tiny light ghost thing on the ground. So let me rest and then I will be going and warping back to that cave because I really need that. And it's Merc Water Cave. Um, Further up north, there's a place called uh, Murkwater Catacombs, and that there has a boss in it that gives you some pretty good loot. It's like a cat statue, I think. And at first it was like really creepy on like <laughs> the cat statue, because it like stands up and like moves its head around, but it's not fluid. It's, uh, well, I mean, it's a cat statue, it's stone, so it's really, um, kind of blocky and clunky. Oh, short sword. Wah, yeah. If only I had a mushroom, I would be leaving this place. I need cheese and marinara. And then I could make myself a Dark Souls pizza. What's a Dark Souls pizza, you ask? Well, funny thing is, it's also a regular pizza. Just Dark Souls. So the marinara sauce would be blood. The pepperoni would be people pieces. Fine, Patches, I won't steal your stuff. Oh, you had me proper scared, puffing away in a... Well, maybe it's a sign to keep your mitts off, but I'll forgive you. Maybe I should just kill Patches. This guy's freaking annoying. Parrying dagger, nobody cares. A festering bloody finger. Margaret Shackle. So this one right here, Margaret's Shackle. Um... When you go to fight Margaret, uh, he's the first uh, guy that you go and you fight. Uh, what he does is um, you use this during the first part of the fight and it basically like suction cups him down to the ground. And uh, from there, what happens is he's not able to get up. He's uh, stuck on the ground for a couple of seconds. And then anytime you come across a stone sword key, I would definitely go to try to buy it. Um, I can't right now because I don't think that I have enough uh, stuff for it. Let me check. I only have 5,000 so I'd have to buy uh, Margaret Shackles. Which I am completely okay because that will make the upcoming battle in the future really easily. I don't know if I want to do it today. I think I'm just going to run around and I'm going to be picking up uh, some more weapons and maybe leveling up a little bit. And then at the end of the uh, video I will go and I will uh, take on Margaret at least once. That way to see what I'm getting myself into. Get 
get some more runes. Oh, I should probably sell all my useless stuff I don't need. I've been picking up a bunch of uh, ruin fragments, which are like scattered around ruins, and they're consumable stuff, but I don't know what they're made made for. So see, like ruin fragments, they're worth 10. I could get 470 right now. Um, these things are basically like the um, things that you put on your swords from Dark Souls. Uh, these ones you crack them and it shoots little uh, uh, glintstone arrows. And then this one here explodes when thrown. This one shoots more arrows. And then this one right here sends out like spikes with electricity and whatnot. So it's actually a, actually kind of a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, since I have leveled up, I am actually going to travel south and I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to go Castle Morn lift, and then I'm just going to go through Castle Morn and see what boss is there. I already fought one, and he gave me the Game of Thrones sword. And by Game of Thrones, I mean this one right here. Uh, I'll equip it and show you guys. So it's literally just a sword made of other swords. It's a great sword. My guy's clearly not strong enough to wield it because there's the red X in the top right corner. So for right now, I'm using the Lord Sworn's great sword plus four. Um, and then I also have the uh, Dismounter uh, curved great sword. That's kind of like the um, curved great sword in. Dark Souls 3, and then this one right here is Bloodhound's Fang, and then it creates, I want to say, a bleeding effect. If Yeah, it causes blood loss buildup, 55. Um, I'm not strong enough to hold that one yet. That's uh, 17 dexterity, so when I'm able to, and I have my equipment load loaded up and everything a lot higher, and uh, I get my dexterity up, I'm going to see about doing that. Just for, you know, it's a cool looking sword and plus it does bleed build up. If you hit them enough times and get that uh, bleeding effect done, they take a huge chunk of damage. So that's another thing that uh, people should use. And uh, my L2, if you guys have been noticing when I do the uh, blood slash, it does pretty decent damage. Spells in this game, uh, physical attacks, they don't typically do that much damage unless you have like really super high strength and whatnot with it. Um, it's magic attacks, uh, like um, sorceries, uh, faith ones. There's a lot of uh, attacks you can use that will do massive amounts of damage. I'll do my blood slash on this dog right here and show you. 413 damage just with one attack. It's that attack there has saved me many times when fighting bosses. It's it's a really good attack. Let me just set up this dog. My little skeleton guy is having a little bit of fun there. Okay. Um, that is a lot of people there. Uh, there's like seven. I usually come around here. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can lure a bunch of them over towards the uh, pumpkin guy over there. Because the uh, pumpkin guy will uh, kill people. Uh, because his attacks are one of the ones that actually affect the people, like the enemies. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, I was hoping to be able to... Ooh, Iron Cleaver. Let me go ahead and get all these guys startled. Let me run this way. I'll take a couple of hits, no problem there. And then I will run around this guy here. Startle him, get him up, and then 
unlock so I can dodge these guys. And then let the fun begin between them. Like I said, they'll go up and they'll fight that guy. I just have to be careful. attack on me. I got no problem with it. And you are mine. I've been trying to get that guy to drop his armor, but I don't know if he can. I mean, it would be a, a pretty nice armor. I want to walk around with the pumpkin head. Then every time somebody hit me, I just call him pumpkin pie. Climb up this ladder and let's move on. I died. Where did I die at? Oh, I forgot. Okay, I gotta I gotta figure this out. Oh, that's right, I died way up in the swamp area. Okay. I've been running around, and I didn't even go back and pick up my souls. Or my, uh, my runes. I'm, I'm a terrible person. So these guys here, um, they have wings. What they'll do is they'll shoot two arrows and then do a little dive attack thing. So you gotta be careful of that. Ah, I just rolled right off the ledge. That was so stupid. Okay, okay, we got this. We'll come back. Let me just pop this thing here. So what I gotta try to do is I gotta try to... I'm gonna see if I could try to lure the pumpkin guy over into that group to whittle him down. And then hopefully my uh, skeleton guys don't die as fast as they did last time. I like having my skeleton guys around because they can aggro enemies' attacks like an actual... Uh, say like if someone was playing with you in multiplayer and uh, just makes it a lot easier because then you don't have so many enemies attacking you but um, they also help attack they're kind of weak um, the one that I would prefer to use is my uh, banished knight Oleg but I don't have a high enough um, I don't have a high enough, uh, I want to say faith, but I don't think that's it. Uh, I'm just going to handle the dogs myself and I'll summon them afterwards. That way they don't take that much damage. I'm going to see if I can get a little turf war going on between the pumpkin guy and these dudes over here. Come on, puppy. Okay. I'm going to lure him over and then I'm going to activate the uh, skeleton guys after they take each other down a little bit. Come on, buddy. You know you want to. Are you just going to sit in there looking at the chair or the tree? I mean, they can make chairs out of it. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's what I was wanting. Come on, buddy. Let's get all these people to look at me. Oh, 
Oh no, there's so many. <laughs> I did not mean to draw all of them over here. I thought they were gonna attack the big guy. Oh, the big guy, no. <laughs> yeah, mess him up. Yeah. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Terrible idea. I wonder if that meat cleaver is a one-handed. If it's a one-handed, I may want to try it. Because one-handing a greatsword... Uh, the greatswords in this game are just way too slow. And it's actually decent stats, too. Wild Strikes. Wild Strikes is actually a good one. I had Wild Strikes on... Um, yeah. I forgot what it was, but I had wild strikes on another one and I was just tearing. Uh, it was against the, the tree guardian or the tree sentinel. I was just tearing him up and it was really, really good. I'm going to see, should I, should I do the blood one on this one? See if I can do that. Should no, Yeah, I'm just going to do the blood one. I should be able to put it on that. If not, that's going to be kind of terrible. Ashes of War. There. Yeah, I can't do it. But the one I could do is the um, Golden Vow. I think that one there. It does holy. I'm just going to keep it standard. That one there, I think, increases my defense. I think that's what it is. But yeah, this will let me uh, slash a lot faster. It's not as good as my deep axe, but... Uh, I don't like that. Fewer hits. I'll have to go and I'll have to upgrade that one. Oh, but I have the buff from the other weapon now. <laughs> That's awesome. So I would recommend with the dogs and all that stuff to attack one or to attack, let it hit you like that and then just hit it because then it just pops right in front of your shield. Um... Okay, so, new plan. I'm gonna bring Pumpkin Head over. Get him all startled. Come on, Pumpkin Head. Right here. There you go, buddy. Come on. And then I'm gonna come through here, get all these guys startled if I don't get hit. Right here, and then come back towards Pumpkin Head. That way they all come over here. And they all fight Pumpkin Head. Okay, I gotta back off. Oh, I can't summon him. That's right. I'm out of... Ooh, that was close. Okay, let me run, let me run. That was gross. Let me summon. Nope. Okay, at least I got the summon off. Pull them away from my skeleton dudes, let them respawn, because why the hell not? I should have blocked that. Oh, there was one right there. This 
stay off my skeletons. Whew. Long shaft axe. Oh. Let's check that one out. Can I use it? Oh, no, I can't. Whoa. Yeah, I can. That's actually better. Or no, it's that one. That one's worse. This one's better. I can use this one. This one I can use. Um, I want to see how much damage this thing does. I want to sneak up on him. 76. 297. Not bad. Oh no, I can't bring him up here? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Not too worry. I'm gonna switch back to the gray sword though. I really like that blood slash attack. Nope. Can't sneak up on him. So like I was saying, is these guys, they'll stop. They'll shoot two, and then they'll drop down. I gotta take care of the one on the ground first. Boom, and that is how it's done. So yeah, they shoot two uh, consecutively really super fast, and then they shoot one with a small delay, and then from there you have to uh, smack them out of the air when they drop back down. Um, if you don't, it becomes increasingly hard to hit them in the air, unless you have like the whirlwind slash or um, something that shoots them out of the sky. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, ooh. Oh, I should have known. I should have known. They don't just stick a uh, guy there with his back turned without having another backup right next to him. Let me guess, another one's gonna pop up somewhere. Backstab! Right in the kidney. Smithing stone, I need those. What happened? You fell over and you're injured. What happened? Oh, I killed you all. That's right. Shame on me. I thought that was the thing there. Let's just drop down and let's go get in the fight. Oh, I just launched them right off the... Oh, they even shoot one arrow and do that? Oh, he fucking stabbed me! Ow! You little ass. Okay, so I killed that guy. <laughs> I was targeted on the other guy, but backstabbed him. Oh, <laughs> did they take your kill from you? Oh, shame on me. I could have sworn that there was supposed to be some type of like king guy here. 
in the castle. Could he be up here? I gotta heal first. Uh, let's go with that one. I don't have any of the other ones. Hey, is that the guy? I think that's the guy. Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, hey, buddy. so I thought. Uh, oh, I was... Look at that purple and blue line right back there behind him. Clipping. Not clipping correctly. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but whatever you come here to do, take this by way of apology. Hey, um, idiot, I have a letter for you. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I can't leave yet, even if the castle should fall, to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall. If you see Arena, do her father will come for her. The treasured sword of Morn. Where is the treasured sword, sir? Where is it? I want to know. I want it. Sounds like a cool sword. Is it the sword that I already have? Because if it is, that's that's a really uh, that's uneventful. If that's the sword that I already have. Please do tell where is this sword you speak of. I want it. I almost just killed myself. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, let me just jump across. What? Ah, yeah. See, I was. I didn't. I never came up here. So that must mean that I'm able to go down into the keep. That's cool. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, there's a chest. How much do you want to bet it's a transporter chest? Nope. Get a claymore. Um, I think claymores are ultra great swords in this game. Uh, are they like gonna kill this guy or something? Oh, they are. Wow. Fucking brutal. You kill one, buddy. Prepare to die. Oh, that would have been bad. No cliff. Come on, get up there. Get on the ladder, you fatty. There's a fire breaking out up here. I want a piece of it. Okay. Dick. I was trying to help you. I'm gonna take care of this guy. He'll get in the way. C -c combo None shall stand in my way. I will kill all. Yeah, that's right. I saw you over here. Come here, buddy. Morn sword. Come on, buddy. What is this one? Steel wire torch. So I got a torch. That's it. Just a torch. All that hard work. And the only thing I got was a torch. Okay, so I've already been up over there. What is up over here?
No. That is not an item. Did I come up top, but there was another area there? Uh, I don't feel like falling to my death, so I'm just going to slide down the ladder. Uh, I don't think I've been... Yeah, I don't think I've been down on that beach. I've been on the beach to the left of the castle, but not the one on the right. Hey, yo, where's this uh, treasured sword of Morn? Oh, wait, hold on. I'll just go straight into inventory and then go over to my weapons. And it should tell me. Um, is it there? Explanation. No. Oh. How do you see the. Switch display? No, that's not it. How do you see the description of the weapon? I know you're able to. Um, scroll? No. Is it simple view? No. Um, help. Any explanation? Toggle image and explanation. Character. Ah, there we go. Um, the storied sword of Castle Morn. Okay, so that is the sword that uh, I got. One of the legendary armaments. That's cool. Uh, swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration. While the oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. That's cool. Uh, quick steps. Skill prized by the crafting fleet of foot, aka meaning to use. Perform a quick step maneuver that allows for circling. Around lock on targets. Barbaric roar. Let loose a, best, a bestial roar to rally the spirit and increase attack power. While active strong attacks change to savage combo attacks. Oh, that's cool. War cry. Change to charging attacks. Bloodhound's finesse. Slashing upwards with the Bloodhound's fangs, using the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault and gain some distance from foes. Follow up with a strong attack to perform Bloodhound's step attack. Yeah, so I've pretty much done everything I could in this cas castle. I didn't realize that uh, I already had the sword. I didn't even have to go into the other places. Could have just kept going. Um, yes, yes. Why does it seem like that wall is missing? Alright, let's go give the, uh, bad news to Irina that her dad is abandoning her for his duty, even though everything in the castle is dead, and I have the sword. What's a shame. That's a shame. Let me just fast travel so you go to the Bridge of Sacrifice. I think that's where it is. Force look at yeah, it's the Bridge of Sacrifice. <laughs> Irina darling, where are you? I need to uh, tell you the bad news. There you Oh, is she dead? Oh, she died. <laughs> She's dead. Okay. That is sad. That is very sad. Let me guess, I go back to her dad. Tell her dad, hey, uh, your daughter died. You didn't protect her. Because you're a dick. Maybe you should have been there for your daughter, you dick.
freaking men and they believe their duty. I'm just gonna run past everybody. I think I could get down there and then up the ladder into him without alerting anybody. Well, well, he was up top, wasn't he? Yeah, he was up over here. So the fastest way would just be going up the ladders and then killing everything up there. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep running. Hopefully I can get to the ladder and nobody will attack me. There you go, pumpkin guy. Have fun. On the ladder again. Like a whisper in the wind, I live again. so annoying. Yes, I understand you want me dead. I also want you dead. We are at an impasse, but it's an impasse. I will win. Come on, buddy. Just look at their smiles. They look like Freaking creepy past the monsters. You brush your teeth? Did you? Did you brush your teeth? I don't think you brushed your teeth. If you brushed your teeth, I know about it. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, he killed me! That... Oh, where are those soldiers? They're supposed to be there. I can smell you. I can't smell anything. I have a chainmail on my face. Even though chainmail is see-through and has holes, I must have a cold. Yeah, yeah, take any, take any. Okay, so I knew that I could sprint all the way over there. I'm gonna go around the dog area, that way I don't get these guys on me. Shouldn't be too hard. What's up, pumpkin head? Have fun with the dog guys. I just killed that guy because I wanted to. I didn't need to, but I wanted to. Ah, darn it. Who needs to know that there is a ladder there? It's... It, it's literally... Blatantly in your point. Or in your face. Like, like, nobody, nobody needs that. Okay. Let's go about this. A better way. I'm gonna smack this guy off the bridge. Or kill him. Kill him. Or kill him. Oh ho ho! Ballsy, huh? Yep, I'm dead. Maybe? Yep, I'm dead. Great. I didn't even give my souls. Perfect. Just dandy. Nothing is more irritating than dying and not being able to go and pick up your freaking runes. I keep calling them souls. I've played a lot of Dark Souls, okay? And yeah, nothing's more irritating than that. Just saying.
So I need to run through here. And then I need to go and talk to the little night guy that abandoned his daughter for his duty. That uh, duty. Backstair. Okay. I gotta take my time. Can't rush it. I've been rushing these games way too long. I'm like, oh yeah, I could take these guys if I rush them, and then it always leaves to my downfall. I always die. See, look at that. He jumped and rolled. Take that, blonder. Okay, pull the gargoyle assholes over. Nope, I'm gonna die. Once again, I'm gonna die. That's what idiots get for flying. Should have stuck to the ground. If I come up here, does it spawn the soldiers? Yes, yes it does. Uh, I'm good to go. Let me see if I can just clean house. <laughs> you should have been watching your back because <laughs> I backstabbed to get it. <laughs> I was that was cheesy. I'm sorry. It must have been a punishing blow. <laughs> Keeping the sword from those who are no longer bound by death. I'm safe. Rescued Arena, I will. Thanks to you, and devote my remaining arena as a. I only hope it. Be... Thanks to you, bro. My arena bro, I only hope... your daughter is dead. I just went there and checked on her. She's she's dead. She's like flat out dead. She's as dead as a doornail if a doornail was dead. You you thought you'd be able to go to your daughter? No, no, she's 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 dead. Like you thought she was alive, but turns out she was dead all along. I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna check it, and he better be there. Hey, look, he's there. Yeah, you know, I, I have the same meat cleaver, my buddy. How could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with my chose duty over my daughter's safety. Yep. And that is how fate has answered. Yep. I'll find them. The foul wretches. I'll hunt them down and exter- Rest assured. I'll find them. The foul wretches. I'll hunt them. Rest assured. Here. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Now I see. You had a hand in the Give me a reader. I will join you. Bane 
Spanish Knight's Halberd plus eight? Are you shitting me? Hey, at least she followed you. Or at least you followed her. Gave you what you wanted, buddy. You wanted to be with your daughter, now you are. I don't know if I was gonna get any type of, like, super good weapon for that, like, at the end of it, but, you know, who cares? There's only a couple NPCs that I want still around, and so I get rid of the ones I don't. But this, hopefully, is ridiculously overpowered. Um, detailed view, there we go. That's what I wanted. So, mine was... 167, 38, this one is... 183, yeah. Let's go test it out. I want to see how much damage it does. Come, my skeletal minions! For tonight, we kill! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Back stab. Oh, dude, it's like the split leap gray sword. Yes. I love that weapon art. <laughs> I used to use the uh, split leaf great sword all the time in Dark Souls 3. It's it's nice that this has the same uh, weapon art. Pillage corpse. It has the pillage. We pillage, plunder, and take whatever we want. Switch action. Switch action. No. Oh. And what we do not kill, we maim, so they cannot come after us. Even then, it is not good. But this is what we must do. It is to ensure our survival. And if we do not, our survival is not guaranteed. Alright, enough of this child's play. I am going to switch my sword, or my uh, halberd back to my sword. And I want to go into a little bit harder of an area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try my best to fight. Uh, what's his face? I do, however, need to switch out my current guys for the jellyfish because he is weak against jellyfish. And then from there, uh, maybe we could try the shackle.